Back here at our uh, East Keeler site, uh, exploring uh, the question we often get asked is uh, why is uh, building on a construction site or a sloping block so expensive? Uh, the last time we were here we were discussing the slab and the site cuts. Uh, since then we've uh, conducted more site cuts and uh, exposed more rock which is one of the big cost issues. But what I wanted to show today was uh, more uh, what uh, also occurs outside of the foundation, which uh, is the uh, the sleeper retaining walls or the lightweight retaining walls. So as you can see here, uh, we've cut the uh, driveway in and along this boundary uh, that we're looking at just there now, that's going to be a block wall, uh, similar to what's going to be going in the dwelling. So we'll have the starter bars and the core field concrete blocks and the likes. But as we get up into the backyard here, we... Uh, move more into what we call landscaping retaining walls and their purpose is uh, in flattening the site so it's actually got a functional backyard uh, we need to retain the natural slope of the land to stop it uh, filling or caving back in onto itself and onto the onto the neighboring properties so in that case there we uh, move away from blocks into a more economical type of wall which is what we call a sleeper wall um, in this price place we're using uh, the uh, timber sleepers but uh, from a cosmetic and structural point of view you can also use concrete sleepers so as we walk up the uh, site this area here is all going to be sleeper wall retaining the uh, backyard as you can see here um, make our way up to the top excuse the bumps <coughs> and as you can see here we have our sleepers or 100 mil uh, sleepers getting um, cosmetically dressed up uh, with bevels on them and then we have our posts or what we call our H channels which are holes that are bored into the ground filled with concrete and, um, and these will hold uh, the sleeper in these channels here. Now uh, for every meter we come out of the ground we've got to go a meter into the ground so these, um, these holes are actually going down about um, or over a metre and filled with concrete all the way to the top uh, to prevent the wall from uh, pushing forward uh, from the pressure of the dirt behind it. Uh, these walls will retain uh, along the boundary and this will actually end up being uh, the backyard for this property. As we move around to this part of the block uh, where the structure will, the building will actually be built across this area here. So this will uh, move back to a block retaining wall where the house will be sitting on top of and this will retain the soil and protect the foundation of the neighbouring property that's, uh, that's here. So um, as from last week's perspective we were down at the bottom, this week's perspective we're actually in the backyard and looking back at the property uh, from the backyard. So in this house here you can see the slope from front to back uh, is probably over three, probably close to four metres and uh, that is a lot of soil we have to deal with to retain and, uh, and, and keep, keep, um, keep retained uh, and protect the buildings and the neighbouring properties. The other thing to consider when building on a sloping block is the house really should follow the contours of the land. So as we can see here, we're standing at the highest point of the land and looking back down at the property, you can see the garage all the way back down there. I'll just walk around there. <coughs> He's actually at the lowest part of the block and the house, no worries. And the house is uh, stepped up to follow the contour of the block. And this retaining wall, which is gonna be built down the bottom here, uh, is gonna come up and where this machine is actually parked is the ground floor or the, the next floor of the home. And, um, and so that area down below there will be actually under the house. And then this um, will be steps coming up here and then we'll be landing onto this backyard section and a small garden bed up the back there. So I hope that's uh, explained a little bit more uh, about um, sloping blocks and retaining walls. And like we uh, mentioned, uh, if you need uh, any assistance 
um, with any questions regarding sloping blocks, talk to Renmark Homes, um, your custom home and sloping block specialist. Thank you.